Welcome back to Milwaukee Studios. Today I wanted to just let you guys know why maybe you shouldn't choose Resolve. So Resolve is one of those programs that is actually very powerful, completely free, and there is many channels out there that recommend using Resolve, and I get it. Resolve is great, but there are some issues that I actually have with it. So some of those issues include the fact that basically everyone pushes Resolve. Resolve might not actually be the right program for you, and that's kind of the point of this entire channel. It's kind of like any program. If there's a specific program, for instance, like, for instance, if you have task management, you might be using a calendar system, and if you're using a calendar system, are you using something like Google Calendar or Samsung's built-in calendar on Android phones or even Apple's calendar? Like for instance, those kinds of stuff. There's different advantages to either one and there's different disadvantages to them. For instance, one might be easier to use than another. One of them might give you all the options. One of them might give you only the options that you need, but that's the thing. Everyone pushes resolve, but if you're just starting out, maybe don't use Resolve. There are different software for different purposes, including different video editing software. If you're just getting into it, if you use something that's really, really simple, it might actually benefit you a lot more compared to others. So that's one of the key things I wanted to let you guys know about. Also because it does require a pretty hefty machine. If you're trying to get into this hobby, if you're trying to do a lot of stuff with video, you need a good GPU. I've tried doing it on some of the other computers or even the computer I have now without a GPU. It is a night and day difference. You have to have a GPU. And that's the thing. A lot of people's computers only have APUs, so you just can't get the same amount of power. So how do you combat that? Um, you upgrade your computer or you use a different piece of software. Real quick, let me tell you about our product. We actually came out with something that I think you guys will really enjoy, which is actually a SD card, USB holder, and even a dongle holder. It comes with the digital files. If you click the link down in the description to go order it, and if you have a 3D printer, you can print it out, and if you don't, sorry, it's only digital for now. If you guys really want to see it, um, please show your support in the description below. Now on with the rest of the video. The other reason is there is a pretty big learning curve, especially if you've already been using a different piece of software that uses layer system, because layers and nodes are very similar and they kind of coincide, but it's kind of like encoding, for instance. If you are used to using nodes for your coding, if you're not used to that and you're used to more just let me type everything out inside of a script format, it, it, it's completely different than messing around with nodes to get results. Like, it, it's a night and day, it's a switch in your head that you actually have to switch on or off. But with that, you guys can see that Resolve might not be the right program for you, and if it's not, that's completely fine. I do have a playlist over here actually with all of the different basic walkthroughs of different programs, so if you wanna see a basic walkthrough on a lot of different free open source programs, they're right up there. Or if you guys do wanna start learning the basics of editing, just click on this. It doesn't matter whichever program it is. And with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching, and remember, keep on editing.